So I just finished watching The Family of Jake Paul and I live streamed it over on Twitch too. But the question that we have today is, are Jake and Logan Paul the result of bad parenting? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you with your mental and emotional well-being. And one of those things is family and your relationships and those dynamics. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because not only do I make a ton of videos, but what I try to do is I try to pull from what's happening in the YouTube community and pop culture to try to teach you how you can improve your mental health. So I'm actually going going to make two videos today, so that's another reason to subscribe and turn notifications on. Um, but this first one, I want to talk about family dynamics. So one of the fears that a lot of people have um, or had before Shane started this series was that Shane was going to try to make people sympathize with the Paul brothers and you know, it's not their fault they're like this because of their parents and all that kind of stuff. And Which I can't do because people are gonna say like, oh, you're fucking like trying to make him look good and you're fucking whatever. Like that's all you do, Shane. You cry with people and you make them look good. Like those, those are somewhat valid, but it's kind of not. And I want to throw up a disclaimer here, by the way, you're gonna meet, for those of you who are new, you're gonna meet Tough love, Chris. I'm about to give you all some tough love. When this first got started, and in, in basically in this whole episode, he's, Shane's just kind of doing research, okay? He's looking at the, the parents, he's looking at more Jake Paul stuff, he's working at Logan Paul. By the way, the ending towards the end, like Shane's response to Logan Paul with the happy music was epic. Sociopath is boiled down someone who is m just more savage than everyone else. Savage. Savages only. So I guess we gotta ask, is bad parenting an excuse? So what I try to do too, is I try to teach you guys how to improve your mental health based on my own experience of improving my mental health. And so you know, like I am the son of an alcoholic mom, if you haven't known me that long. And my childhood sucked, okay? But when, you know, when I, when I got older, as I developed and, you know, then my addiction happened and everything like that, when I, you know, kept relapsing and I was, you know, staying bad and I had a son who I wasn't taking care of and all these other things. There came a point where when I finally got clean this time, I had to learn that this was no longer an excuse. This was no longer an excuse to live the way I was living. Like, so you know, I was 27 years old when I, when I finally got clean and sober. And for me, I had to realize that no matter what happened to me at that point in my life, like I had to, you know, take some responsibility for this stuff. I had to look at, you know, you know, these things that happened, like, yeah, maybe, you know, I was the, the product of what happened back then, but it's not something I could hang on to to justify who I was becoming. And that's, that's what I want to say, like when it comes to Jake and Logan Paul, these are adults, these are grown adults. So I am, again, I'm gonna make another video talking specifically about Shane. Now, first I want to talk about uh, I wanna talk about the mom, okay? I think her name's Pam. Like she was calling people like her Pamela, so I think her name's Pam, Pam Paul, is that it? That's a that's an interesting uh, name, Pam Paul. Um, but anyways, so he shows her and stuff, and uh, okay, so one of the things that Shane talks about, and this is one of Shane's flaws, he, he, he talks about how she's like worried about how this is gonna make them look and how she's going to look and stuff like that. And like, that's just like a record scratch, like, like what? What, like you can't do that. You can't have it both ways. If you look at Pam's channel, like if you remember the first episode of Shane, uh, uh, of the mind of Jake Paul, like he shows like this mother like sexualizes her children and baits people in with the thumbnails and things like that. Like I get it, I get the YouTube game, but you can't act one way and then, and then be surprised by the way that you're being portrayed. And this, like what I wanna talk about with this, and this is for everybody, you know, watching this is like, you have to take responsibility for the decisions that you make. Like you make these decisions, you have to be ready for those things. If you don't wanna be portrayed in a certain way, then don't do the actions that would portray you in that way. I made a video not that long ago about how we are not in control about how other people feel about us. You know what I mean? Like, 
I live my life to the best of my ability, but there are some people who might look at me and they might disagree with me, not like me. You'll see it down in the comments. There are people who don't like me, but there are things I do to not give people a reason. You see what I mean? So for, for Shane to even feel kind of bad about maybe showing her in a certain lie, like, like if I was hanging out with Shane, like if I was Andrew filming that, cause you see here like Andrew going back and forth with them, I would explain to Shane like, that's not your fault, Shane. That's what they already did. But then Shane kind of over, over sympathizes too, and um, he he shows this clip right here. What's up? Morning, Jaker. We got sleep and beauty. Yeah. Okay. I love you, Bob. Love you too, guys. When he walked out, when Jake walked out, he literally turned back around after he saw his mom was down there vlogging, like he didn't want to come down. So Shane's trying to put you in the shoes of Jake Paul. He's like, oh my God, like, can you imagine if your mom was, if you came downstairs and your mom was just filming you? And no, 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 no. Shane needs to set back, step back and get clarity on this. Because, okay, like if you look at like, I don't know, the first people to pop into mind, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, or Jay-Z and Beyonce. Those are parents who are making the children famous, right? But this is the exact opposite when it comes to Jake and Logan Paul. The Paul uh, parents would not be anybody if it weren't for the children. So Shane needs to cut that out right there, where he's like, oh my God, can you rem uh, even imagine your your family just just filming you? Or he like talks about like how his, the mom used Jake's picture in a, a thumbnail from high school? Like, are you serious right now? Like a clip that Shane's shown in multiple of these episodes is how Jake runs around terrorizing the people in his house unexpectedly, right? Like they keep showing this clip, this like 911 challenge or buried alive challenge. The buried alive prank is where you go into someone's room while they're sleeping, you put a ton of blankets over them. It's like a lot of weight and like pressure and they feel like they're in a coffin. And guys, this would only work because like they're just waking up. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's like, are you serious? And now you're gonna now you're gonna sympathize with Jake because he was coming down the stairs when he woke up and his mom had a camera out. Like, are you kidding me, Shane? Like, Shane, you this is what we're talking about with boundaries, and this is gonna be more for the next video. But Shane needs to really, really take a step back. Something I've noticed about Shane is that he's very locked into the moment, and I think that's why he's a great creator. But I think one of the issues is, is when Shane is locked into the moment, he doesn't bring in past experiences. And I wanna know, maybe in the comments, if you can relate to that. Like when you're hyper-focused in the moment, do you forget about past situations that might help you like have a better opinion or insight on the situation that you're currently in. So the last thing I really wanna talk about is Greg Paul. Greg Paul, um, he is a, a sports dad, all right? And like Shane was like super surprised by all this stuff. So me, I wasn't all that surprised. I was a triathlete growing up. I played sports most of my life. Obviously I don't anymore because I'm a little on the chunky side, but I played sports most of my life. I've met a million Greg Pauls. I've met a million of him. So so what I think Shane is learning, okay, what I think Shane is starting to learn is what I've been talking about. Like we can't just run around labeling people sociopaths and narcissists and stuff because a lot of people are the result of their parenting. And this is part of, you know, that whole toxic masculinity thing. Like I grew up in a way where my dad taught me to stuff my emotions and stuff my emotions. And what you do is you eventually wire your brain to not feel certain things. So. I, like when Logan talks about his sociopathic tendencies and stuff like that, yeah, that's the result from this kind of like be tough, be a man, be all this other type um, uh, of person type of thing. So like I think Shane might be starting to open his eyes a little bit and starting to realize like, yeah, mental health is very wide. Like that's why I have so many videos. I never run out of things to talk about because this is why you can have certain parts of yourself and this is why therapy is so beneficial. So you can start to reflect and look at these little parts of yourself and say, okay, I like this about myself, this is really good, but this is something that I need to work on, you know what I mean? So yeah, to wrap this whole thing up, the moral of this video is yes, like parenting is a huge part of this, it is, but what happens is you start making excuses for people like Tana and Jake and Logan, and this is where that tough love comes in, like. And like, I respect the thought of like a dad who's like, come on kids, we got this. Jake doesn't really have a dad. He just has a boss. 
You know, a lot of people had a messed up childhood, but when you become an adult, it's time to take responsibility for this stuff. We cannot hang on to that stuff forever. And I'm telling you this from personal experience, because it's something that I did. I had resentments towards my mom and everything, and I held on to that for years. But at a certain point, I said, you know what? It's time for me to start working on me. I can no longer use that as an excuse to be the terrible person I am. Like, it might be the reason, it might be the reason, but it's not an excuse. I always try to separate those two. I want you guys to understand, like, you might have a reason for something, but not an excuse for it, okay? But this is how people get enabled, and this is the tough love. Like, I will never, ever, 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 ever enable you. I will never say, you, oh, I'm sorry you had a poor, like, I will empathize with you. I will say, I'm sorry you had a bad childhood, but it's no longer a reason to live the way that you're living. You're not allowed, you don't have this free reign to be a jerk to people, to be a bad person. You do not have that because you should know better by now or you should at least be working on yourself actively to grow as a person, all right? So anyways, that's all I got. I would love to know what you all thought about the family of Jake Paul, so make sure you leave it down in the comments below. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you subscribe ring that notification bell, and a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing, I love you so much. If you wanna check out the Rewired Soul merch shop, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Don't make your childhood an excuse anymore, and I'll see you next time.